So with that, um, let me get started with the conceptual questions. Uh, so this is the thing that you do this Friday. This is the last of your conceptual questions. And I've had a lot of fun. Um, oh, wait. Ah. Sorry, I was looking for this chart earlier and I didn't uh, see it. I, I guess... Um, <laughs> I'll get there later. Um, so this is the uh, last of the conceptual questions that we have this semester. And I've been doing this uh, thing with the generative AI asking ChatGPT, well, not ChatGPT, perplexity.ai, but the uh, uh, response engine that it uses is GPT-4. I think that's uh, what it's been. They might have changed it recently. Um, in any case, it's been working well in the sense that it's gotten a lot of questions correct. I think it struggled a little bit the last session. Let's uh, ask questions this week, which are mostly coming from text to book or at least the published book, and we'll see how well it does. So, first question. Um, I want you to answer based on impedance. Let's see if it does. It should. Yep, impedance. And you can use this formula, you know, the magnitude of this 1 over omega c. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I guess it's not using complex impedance. Um, and, you know, your textbook also uses, uh, it doesn't use complex expression. It uses uh, real values and uh, what's called a phaser. And um, the thing is, uh, in any, like, upper division level circuit, uh, class, uh, they will just use complex impedance. So I'm going to do all my analysis today using complex impedances, because I think that's the tool that you ought to learn anyway. Okay, so yeah, yeah. so this is all correct. Um, think, uh, idealize, yeah, good, good. <laughs> Again, if you're using this learning tool, fine. <laughs> uh, just don't, you know, uh, not just to don't, but you know, don't use this tool to cut corners. It's like, you know, if you had a, uh, a friend who's really good at physics and if you use that friend to just avoid doing your physics work it's not going to help you in the long term um, but on the other hand if that good friend is teaching you physics interacting with you answering your questions then that, that you know that's what a tutor is so uh, okay average ac is zero power is this bit is not zero okay uh you could use a current squared or alternate direction yeah not zero because powers okay you can answer it this way um the weakness of this is in ac circuit sometimes voltage and current are out of phase so um, what the um yeah uh, we mean square values of okay uh not tech always true um the power factor matters because if you have a circuit that's a purely uh, capacitor and inductor, then um, you will have, you know, finite non-zero uh, RMS values of voltage and current, but power dissipated is still won't be zero. I have a whole separate lecture on AC power dissipation. Please watch that. Um, yeah, yeah. So it's I RMS squared times R. Um, and the conceptual part would be the... Um, like a, a instantaneous power dissipated would be I as a function of time squared times R. That that squared means um, when current is negative, you are still dissipating power. So yeah, I think it's good enough. Uh, it could be shorter. It could be focusing on something that I think is more relevant. But overall, I don't see anything that's wrong. Um, other than you know, um, just to. Um, just to, uh, the, the, I, I guess it's a defense would be said that it can be calculated. It didn't say, um, like, if you know uh, RMS of current and voltage, then you can just get power. Um, it did correctly involve the resistance. So. Yeah. Okay, let's uh, move on to the next question. This question comes from Portable TA. Let me copy and paste. So the image should paste fine in the sense that the description of the image will get pasted in. And the equations I will have to type out. Uh, inventor, room mean square voltage, V RMS is equal to 120 volts. The invent as drawn below. Right. Figure shows and an inductor. Um, okay, I guess 
uh, from our research about a capacitor with a C is equal to 0 0.20 farad. Uh, that's pretty high. Her register has a resistance R is 10 ohm. That's pretty low. <laughs> um, in order for her to what? So A is asking for resonance. B is asking for. Um, um, you can actually uh, calculate this without knowing answer to A. Actually, um, let me explain the trick after the generative AI answers something. Supplies. Um, oh, I need the supplies. We RMS equal to 120 volt at uh, F is equal to 50 hertz instead of 60 hertz. More or less. Okay. Oh, this you have to know the answer to. <laughs> Um, all right. It's a complex question. Let's see how well it answers. Uh, specific, you know, the circuit with skip. Um, because in portable TA, this would be a uh, several pages. So, um, to energy, in for circuit to be at resonance, yeah. A resonance impedance of uh, so in this case yes impedance is minimized uh, in different arrangements as I will show you later today um, you can actually maximize the impedance uh, so like parallel LC circuit uh, the current is maximized and here the RSI circuit achieved they look all about right yeah uh, yeah that's probably right um, Probably, yeah. yeah I, I'm not gonna work out the numbers. Um, I'll just assume it's right. <laughs> uh, I don't want to. Although, okay, it, it's not that hard to actually check. So let's just double check. The formula to using looks right. L is equal to one divided by uh, omega squared, which would be four pi squared times frequency squared, sixty hertz um, squared. Times a C, uh, that was what, 0 0.20 uh, farad. Oops, uh, and that should still be within the denominator. Um, yeah. Okay, and putting all that in, you should get an answer in Henry, and is that 1.77? Wait, it's not 1.77. Wow, that is 4 pi squared, 60 hertz squared times 0 0.2 farad. It got the correct uh, formula and then it calculated the wrong number, 1.77 Henry. It should be 35.2 micro Henry. Ah, I I'm glad I checked. Um, yeah. <laughs> oh, that is... Um, so, you know, if you are using GPT as a learning tool, um, formulas, all right, that's fine. But, you know, d d plug in the numbers in the calculator yourself because apparently you can't get the right answer, <laughs> even with the correct formula. <laughs> the heat generated one. Oh, so the way you would use it is, so the, the maximum current, it should be just the voltage divided by resistance. Because on resonance, these two impedances will just cancel out. Um, yeah, yeah, that's what it's saying there. Yeah, so... That does look like 1440 uh, power, so 100 volt, 10 ohm, yeah, 12 ampere. Now, um, the thing that you have to be careful, oh, actually, no, no, it's fine, because this given voltage is RMS voltage. So this 12 ampere is RMS current, which means you can square times, yeah. So that sounds right. Um, HJ1 minute is that, yeah, probably. <laughs> probably. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay. Um, so C, uh, no capacitor. Yeah, because capacitor inductors, they just limit current. Which, why would you want that? Um, reduce the E, yeah, sure. Uh, now, oscillations themselves, uh, I don't know if that's uh, an issue. The issue is that um, capacitors and inductors, they, um, they, they would limit the current given the same voltage. And um, I guess this is also a good reason. Um, D, okay, if it's uh, 50 hertz, then let's hit yeah, off resonance, so the current is less. Uh, wow, it surprisingly moved, uh, answered pretty well, I think. Yeah, so let's uh, ask this question. We 
figure in section shows figure shows uh, omega curve yeah, yeah okay so let me just put a little bit of line break there for my readability explain uh, features resonance frequency omega naught alternative or correct omega naught uh, y is maximum given by v naught over r Oops. <coughs> And the real measurements, the most or least energy. Uh, mm, uh, I gotta think through. So, um, C is our result circuit. So for C, uh, it would be the most on resonance because it's maximum current. Uh, why oh, cancel? Yeah, okay. Um, so a special about resonance frequency. It uh, where inductive uh, are equally my Yeah, yeah. That that's where they cancel each other out. Um, on phasor diagram, you can kind of see them canceling out, you know. Um, and same deal with the uh, complex uh, impedances. The resonance, Ohm's law, yeah, maximum current. Why is the? Uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't feel it, it. It really explained the reason why. But you know, it's kind of part of part A, so I think it's fine. Um, when driven resonance, most energy, yeah, because minimized, uh, so the maximum current is flowing, yeah, that's the important part. All right, that's a good answer. So it answered pretty well, all four questions. Um, as I said at the beginning, you know, if you're using this as a learning tool, great, no objections, I hope it helps you learn. Um, don't use it as a tool to, uh, uh, sh uh, to, uh, to take shortcuts because that simply won't help you in the long term. It's not a matter of how rigidly I enforce that. It's a matter of what's good for you in the long term. And cutting corners rarely uh, leads to a, a long term positive outcome. So.